three days after what many call a sham election, Asia's longest-serving leader, Hun Sen, announced he will let his son, Hun Manet, take the Cambodia prime minister's seat in August. The 71-year-old leader has ruled Cambodia with a tight grip for 38 years. Before the July 23rd election, he banned the main opposition candlelight party, saying it misfiled paperwork. His ruling Cambodian People's Party won with a margin of 78 percent against 17 small parties. With the absence of a party that has a lot of support in the country, the election was not a legitimate process. It was neither democratic nor constitutional. With China as his closest ally, Hun Sen has said losing Western trade and tax benefits doesn't worry him. What concerns him now, analysts say, is the smooth transfer of power to his son. Queuing up this transition while Hun Sen still has some energy and the ability to shape um, politics behind the scenes was important for him. Strangio said Hun Sen's legacy is the longest spell of peace and growth in Cambodia histories of upheaval, discord, revolution and civil war. This has come with a cost of a wide gap between the powerful rich who operate with impunity and the ordinary Cambodians who lack access to justice and public accountability. Cambodia enjoyed an average annual growth of 7% between 1998 and 2022, according to the World Bank. The nation's population of 16.7 million people is young. More than 70% are under 30 years old, according to Oxfam. This younger population, who were not directly affected by the wars, has been a challenge for Hun Sen. In the 2013 election, they supported the now dissolved opposition, Cambodian National Rescue Party. Strangio said the future Prime Minister and the CPP won't be able to rely on the so-called thank you peace strategy to claim legitimacy. The party is going to find itself facing another uh, you know, a, an upsurge of, of opposition, whether or not that opposition can find its voice through a competitive election. But 45-year-old Hun Manet, a graduate of the U.S. Military Academy at West Point with a PhD in economics, is one of a new generation of CPP leaders. Young leaders selected from the CPP share the party's spirit of loving the country and the people. They are equipped with qualified education and experience fitted for the modern age. And while critics see Hun Manet's advancement as evidence of the family's grip on power, many young Cambodians appear excited by the coming change. There is a high chance of betterment in the new generation leader who is familiar with modern facilities. Chatra Chap, VOA News, Washington.